Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. So you've got the Thunderbolt over here, which is the Tower card over here. So you've gone through a, a very, very uh, dramatic moment. Something's happened uh, that has caused quite a big shift of energy. There has been um, something, maybe a revelation that has come in or there's been something that has been very upsetting uh, that has happened to you and this has read, led to you've got the death card over here you're having to let go of something maybe walk away from circumstance or walk away from the situation it was a very dramatic thing it may have caused a lot of loss and now you're just cutting your losses really with the transformation card and moving forward you're actually going uh, moment by moment so you're taking it uh, as it goes uh, one step at a time there seems to be in a breakdown in that path over there. So something really dramatic happened or has been happening right now for you that is causing quite a big change and causing you to leave things behind. You've got the postponement card over here in the past. So this is about um, you know making plans for the future. Um, this is the Four of Swords trying to come up with a new strategy, seeing things in a different light. You know, he's looking through this window, trying to find uh, an, an answer, a solution to problems. And that's been going on in the past year. You've got the participation card. This is another four over here so this is the four of rods and this is about uh, you know working with a group of people or working with people um, and um, maybe they are allowing you to come up with you know new uh, strategies um, you know this is about also there are two fours over here so you are in a much more or you were in a much more stable position as well uh, you know maybe um, recovering from uh, loss or recovering from problems now going to the future, you've got the Consciousness card over here. So this is the Ace of uh, Swords over here. So some victory coming in for you. There's an, um, you know, the third eye being activated in this particular uh, card, showing that there's some insight coming. Also, uh, you know, there could be some messages coming from higher self uh, to give you uh, an idea. And this is going to bring you some peace. You've got the Buddha over here showing, you know, peace and tranquility coming in with that particular insight that comes in. And this is about going with the flow. So this is about allowing the circumstances to play itself out rather than just, uh, you know, um, being proactive. Rather than intervening, you're going to have to just uh, allow this particular uh, energy to play itself out with this going off the flow card. So whatever this dramatic moment is, uh, it's going to sort itself out. You will usually, you know, with the consciousness card, it's about being victorious or having that insight, uh, being able to sort things out on, you know, peaceful resolution of things. But these are big shifts in energy here. Uh, it's almost karmic, the event, um, and it's going to cause a big change for you. So leaving things behind and moving on from that ending of situations but you're going to have to go with the flow and let allow it to play itself out uh, and see what happens really so those are the energies for that week so I'm using the Anna K tarot for the main read bottom of the deck you've got the three of swords over here you can see the three of swords is usually the heartbreak card so having uh, broken off a relationship with somebody you can see this person's walking away from uh, uh, somebody here there's a lost love here a decision was made and um, you know you were facing the two of swords you had some kind of difficult decision to make the three of swords is the culmination of that particular decision you might be going through a divorce or a separation because you're walking away it seems like this person's walking away from established home life as well as somebody there so it looks like there might be a breakup or a divorce or a separation that is going on over here and you've made up your mind to leave that circumstance so what's happening with well, you've got the magician over here and the strength card so the magician talking about uh, you know being able to manifest things so uh, you know whatever your thoughts are whatever you want to do uh, you know you are um, actively um, manifesting at the moment so 
if you're thinking positive thoughts, you'll be able to positively manifest a, a situation. The magician also speaks about, uh, you know, dealing, it's a, a card ruled by Mercury, so you could be dealing with somebody that is uh, very deceptive, uh, somebody who's a bit of a liar, uh, and maybe this is the reason why you're walking away from this particular person, uh, because they've been... Uh, they haven't been honest about the circumstance. So somebody who has uh, been lying to you, you could be dealing with that kind of uh, issue at the moment. You've got the strength card over here. So this is about using all your um, you know, inner strength, really having all the courage uh, in order for you to move away from this particular person that you, um, you've encountered or this particular circumstance. You've got the Ten of Rods. So you have been feeling really oppressed, uh, and, uh, you know, also very, very isolated. There's a lot of dark clouds over here. So this is talking about going through a very, very diff difficult circumstance. There's a lot of burdens, uh, you know, maybe taking on a lot of responsibilities. And this has left you feeling very unhappy as well. You're also very, uh, you know, there's so much of problems and they're all uh, hemming you in over here. There's a lot of stone walls over here. So that's probably what you're hitting, you know. It's like you're hitting stone walls and you can't seem to make a move forward. Now, you've got the judgment card over here in the last three months, so you have made some kind of decision to let go of the past and move forward. Uh, this is going through, uh, you know, a different changing uh, directions in your life and moving away from something that is no longer serving you. The judgment card is leaving the death, uh, you know, the dead um, parts of your life behind and moving forward into something more positive, going, uh, you know, changing things that are not working out for you, taking a different route and, uh, you know, transforming yourself. So you've been called upon that to, to change uh, what you've been doing. And it seems like you make it, made your mind up. It seems like you're going to leave that circumstance. So you have been thinking about it for quite a while because whatever that circumstance was, it was very, very oppressive or, you know, the person was very, very manipulative. And you felt very isolated and alone as well. So you have made up your mind to let go of the past and move on. Maybe even the universe is taking you out of that circumstance. You can see... Um, this is Archangel um, Gabriel uh, trying to get you out of this uh, situation and moving you on towards something brand new. You've got the Six of Cups over here. So this is about you know making plans, uh, but also looking at the past, remembering the past. So you may be reminiscing a little bit about the past and what it used to be like uh, before everything went uh, topsy-turvy, really. You've got the Devil card over here, so that's going to the future. So you could be dealing with a Capricorn person, but you might be still dealing with this person that's being very manipulative. Maybe they're manipulating you from a distance, uh, whoever you're dealing with, the one that you've decided to let go. Maybe they're manipulating you with a lot of lies, a lot of sweet talk, and that could well be the case with that Devil card. So you're still under this person's influence. Maybe there's a little bit of a codependent relationship going on here with this particular person, and they're, they're still exerting their influence or control over you. Now, you've got the Nine of Cups around you, so you are quite happy that you've let, left uh, the circumstance, or you will be. So even though it, you know, uh, there is that, um, you know, maybe you want to go back to this particular person, it seems like uh, leaving them is going to allow you to have a lot more freedom and a lot more happiness. And there's a lot of people that are supporting you, and you might end up even meeting somebody new. So leaving this particular person that's very man manipulative might actually, uh, you know, be the best thing you've ever done. So um, that's going on for you. Now you've got the page of rods over here. There's still some kind of obstacle. You're trying to make plans for the future, uh, but you're trying to, you know, look beyond these hurdles. So there's something brand new coming in over here. There might be some travel that you're thinking of undertaking. There could be even some new course of study, some kind of new direction that you want to follow, some new project that you want to do. So you've got the Seven of Pentacles. You feel like, um, you know, whatever you've invested in this particular relation was a waste of time. You've got this man planting all these coins in the ground and nothing has paid off yet. The trees are still bare and he's done a lot of hard work. So you did work pretty hard in this particular relationship, but it seems like there has been no joy. And, uh, you know, you're maybe you're worried that if you get involved in anything else in the future, it's not going to have any... Um, there's going to be no rewards from it so you're worried about what you should be investing in next where you should invest your time 
or your effort in next. You're looking for something. Maybe this is the reason why you're, um, you know, making plans for the future. This devil card could also mean that, you know, despite, uh, you know, even if you're not dealing with a person that's very manipulative in a relationship, this could be about a work situation uh, because the devil is ruled by Saturn. So, you know, you might be deciding to focus all your energies on your work at this particular time. Now, going into the future... You've got the Ten of Swords, the Page of Pentacles, and the Two of Rods. So the Ten of Swords showing you walking away from a really difficult situation. You can see there's blood in the ground over here. But this person's managed to pick himself out of it and walk away. And even though he's walking away into a really cloudy, dark night, is the fact is that they've gotten up from the circumstance and moved away. So it's going to take a lot of courage and strength, but you're going to be able to do it. You're going to be able to leave the circumstance behind and move away. This could have even been a divorce situation. You could have, you know, where you left that person because there was a lot of drama. There was a lot of arguments and fighting. There was a lot of betrayal as well. But it seems like this person has picked themselves out. They're walking through the snow as well. So it looks like it was a very, very nasty period. But it's not come to the end. Uh, you know, the worst is over with this Ten of Swords. You've got the Page of Pentacles over here. So you... Uh, focusing on work, maybe there's a new job offer coming in for you, or maybe you're just deciding to focus more on your work and, uh, you know, get your mind off whatever's happened over there. So this is about, uh, you know, maybe even something new coming in on the money front there. There's some decision that you have to make with that two of rods. Uh, it could be about work or a job, and here you are still sitting and deliberating about which way to go, what to do next. So there's a there's a choice that will, you will be facing soon about where to go in this pathway that you've chosen, um, and uh, you might need to get some advice for this particular, um, you know, to make that particular decision. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the Angel Tarot. And that's for the uh, Oracle read. <clears throat> so you've got the Awakening card over here. So look at uh, things from a different perspective, a temporary standstill. It is important to be yourself. So this is a hangman. This is about making a lot of sacrifices uh, in a situation where there was, you know, there was no payoff. Uh, it seems like, you know, you were almost tortured in this particular circumstance. Um, and you're now looking at things from a completely different point of view. Or it's calling on you to look at things from a different point of view in order for you to move forward. There's some kind of enlightenment coming over here for you as well. You've got the Six of Water over there, so memories of your history, your childhood, issues regarding children remembering the past. And you've got that twice here, so you are thinking a lot about whatever happened. You might be even dealing with issues regarding your, your children or, or that, you know, things about the past. There might be somebody also coming in here from your past to give you a hand or give you some support in this difficult situation. Then you've got the Knight of Air over here, so events that occur with great speed take time to carefully review your options creative solutions. So it looks like there's some kind of legal situation that is coming in as well. Like I said, this could be a divorce that you're going through and the news comes in about that divorce or there's some kind of, um, you know, settlement. There's some kind of um, uh, legal news coming in to give you an outcome to that particular case so that you can move on. So it looks like, you know, you've left a really, really difficult circumstance and it looks like there might have been a divorce and you're waiting for that news to come in and you're starting to make plans for the future to move on. You will be faced with some kind of choice. There might be a choice about travel as well because this is the two of rods and it generally rules travel. So you might be thinking of actually moving completely or even changing uh, jobs or moving on to do your job somewhere else in order to get away from the circumstance. Um, but it looks like, you know, at the end of the day, uh, whatever this decision is that you made is going to bring you a lot of happiness. And it is something that you have wanted for a long time with this Nine of Cups. So even though it's a very difficult period that you're going through, it looks like, you know, it's going to bring you a lot of personal happiness. So I hope this reading has resonated with you. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.